Hello my brothers and sisters of nerdiness. We are going to be having a look at this little beauty. I have primed it in white. You may be able to guess why, because this is the part of the show uh, part of the um, proceedings where we get into the speed paint. Yes, so we're going to start off with pallid bone. Now as you know, these speed paints have a couple of pre installed agitator balls so that comes in handy now we'll just plop a good amount of this on CD palette we may need to come back into that a bit later but we'll find out as time goes on and let's just give this a try Look at how nice that goes on. <clears throat> the coverage on this paint is really something. Um, if you've never used it before, which I haven't, well I have, and you'll see why I've used it before, but until getting this set, I literally had no experience at all with contrast paints or speed paints or whatever you want to call them this is all relatively new to me but I have done other minis in this just for the sake of being able to do this video uh, no other reason now I want to clean some of this off the because I don't want it all over the shield and you'll see why in a moment And we'll just continue on the back of the shield. Everyone's getting a coverage of this. Um, this looks really, really nice. Now, I've just realised something, but I've not. Well. I'll explain. What I've done is I've done a few stages of this so I can show you each stage without having to wait for a while. So this is stage zero because there's zero speed paint put on. I'm going to show you what I've done with painting these minis and how I'm getting around them. So I've already got to the stage where it's almost a complete mini. Not completed mini. Um, so you'll see what I'm doing basically step by step. But it starts off where you just give these minis a good going over with this paint. And just in case you don't know, these are the force force grown draw, uh, drones from force gr force grown clones. Drones, I'm not sure exactly which ones they are, but they're from Conquest anyway, the part of the Spice faction. I can never remember whether it's clones or drones. Eh, yeah, well, never mind. <laughs> um, and actually, half the time I can't really say what it is because my mop doesn't want to work as you've just noticed, but we'll get through it. <laughs> so, as I say, we cover all the minute we're also doing the shaft of his spear and going into the spear tip oops I don't want it on that part well not fully anyway I don't want a little bit going there and there because that's where there's like strapping and things involved which I want this colour And this is how I'm going to be doing all of these, this particular um, type of mini. So, this is not just not just a demonstration. It's also showing you how I'm painting these minis. So it will be going up in the conquest um, thing as well as. Uh, Sorry, I'll just be going up in the Conquest ones, won't it? 
I haven't put another one up for specialist paints or anything. Um, and I'm sorry about my voice, it's, uh, I'm still struggling with this cold. It's annoying the life out of me. I'm just hoping it goes because I'm getting married in a couple of weeks. And I really do not want this around on the day. But there we are. We'll see how things go. <clears throat> so that was pa good. That was pallid bone. We'll just wash this brush out and go into our next colour. But I don't need this brush for that. The next colour will be orc skin. And basically I'm doing each one exactly the same colours. Because this is a regiment and regiments you usually find have a uniformity to them. And this will be on the Um, these cloth, well, I'm assuming it's cloth areas. It looks like cloth anyway. But um, that's what I'm taking it as. Let's put it that way. The reason I'm going for green is because. Other than black, I think green is my favourite colour. So that is why I'm picking green. And I tend to do a lot with green. Because it's the one that catches my eye more than any other. Oops, I've accidentally gone into the brown on the top of the leg. Never mind. It's not something that's going to be easily notice, noticed. I only realised I did it because I'm the one controlling the brush. Or in that case, not controlling the brush. <laughs> and we're also going to put it on this bit of... ...material here on the shield. There we are. And that's that. There we go. Next. We don't have much to do for the next colour, but Grave Lord Grey is coming out on this one. We'll give it a bit of a shake. As I said, we don't need much for this. That won't do. That's probably more than enough for what we need. But. This is where the spear tip There we go. The spear tip, the base of the spear. I can't think of what this bit's called of a spear. I'm not an expert in weaponry. And not just that, but this little thing on the shield that holds the images on. I've just noticed I've got some of the green on the shield itself, which I don't want. So let's wipe it away with a damp brush. go back into the brown and add well not brown pallid flesh and add some of that back into the colour there we are it's drying nicely as you can see I'm in, really impressed with these paints if these are anything to go by the rest of the set must be awesome 
So there we are, that's what we have so far. Now the next step for this is once these have dried, oh dear, the arms come off, I can't show them that one now, because I'm having to glue this, that's a bit of a, a pain. Oh god, I'll just make sure that it's and it's done, okay. So that's it, that is it dried. Um I need to go over a little bit there now because of my little mistake. Um, where is it? Uh, in fact, I'm waiting until the glue dries on that one. I'm not going to fuff about with it yet. So I'll just put that to one side and I'll bring this one out. Now, this one is going to be the first of the extra steps that I'm going to use for these paints, and that is using skeleton bone. Okay, so I'll give this a good shake. <clears throat> and pop a little bit down on here. Don't need a great amount. And then with a soft dry brush, guess what we're doing? All over. The mini. On the oops, turned areas going top down. Oh, not, oh, not that one now. Let's take that arm off. We can probably do it better without it. There we go. So let's have vertical strokes downwards. And when we're going on the top areas, we can go side to side or whatever you'd like. Now, making sure that the spear also gets some of this treatment. And go straight across it, so straight along it. And there. Without drying the brush now, we're going to use, where are you? There you are. Spaceship exterior. I'll give that a bit of a shake. A little bit on the palette. I'm hoping you can see that. But again, we've not washed the brush. So there's still going to be some of that cream colour on here. And we'll just once again swipe down and give it a little bit of an extra highlight in certain areas that we think need it, which is more the upturned or the higher areas of the mini. I 
there we are and once that's done you can sand or you can glue the base put some PVA glue on the base I'll put the arm on a little later this is not quite finished yet but this is the mini finish I just need to paint the base up so ignore what's on the base so that's what I've done and I've put a little black on the edge of the spear tip because I thought it might be an interesting look to it but I'm not too keen so I'm going to um, dry brush over that once again with the sand colour not sand, skeleton bone that looks much better it's taken off that stark blackness there you go, I'm happy now ok so that is how I'm painting the um, whatchamacallit force grown drones that was it <laughs> oh dear I'll get these right eventually um, as I said all I need to do now is wait until the glue has dried on this and then I can paint the base and uh, then obviously the these bases can be painted as well to match these ones um, and then we're good to go I was going to use some of the colour shift paints on these but I'm having trouble with them in fact I'm just going to try something here um, yeah I'm having trouble with them trying to make them stick to the paint underneath it um, that's better using just the spaceship exterior on the green it gives it more of a a nicer looking fat I'm going to go over this one here again and hopefully that should pick out some of the darker areas because I've gone a bit heavy with the dry brush on this one um, because as I said I had trouble with the colour shift paint I'm not sure exactly what I did wrong but I did something wrong because it just wasn't sticking so you can see that's a little bit rough there that's because basically the colour shift paint just wipes straight off even after being dried even after or being left to dry overnight it just wiped straight off this morning so I don't know what I've done wrong but I'm going to have to work on that and hope I can get it to, to stick it may just be because I use brush and these are and they're designed really for um, airbrush use I have not a clue but I'm going to pop you to one side now and bring out you and glue your arm back on sorry not arm, hand because you're finished and there we are, put you back over there and just leave this to or just keep this secure just for a couple of seconds just to make sure it's in the right place and that will do okay so there we are that's all i'm doing for this video um i'll pop you further back because i do want to show you something the color shift paint i've tried is with i've done it on this shoulder pad for one of the you know something that hasn't this isn't wiping off 
I don't know what I've done wrong. But I've done something with the them. Unless it's because these work better on a curved surface than a flat surface. Because I did put them on the shield and it was a flat surface. So that's what we've got so far with it. And I used the violet old copper. So I'll pop a little bit of this a little bit more of this on here and then it says on the destructions to do it all in one direction so if I go that way It's a bad habit, well not a bad habit, it's a habit I've picked up where I don't go in one direction when I'm painting, I go backwards and forwards and this is a little difficult to work with. So as you can see it goes on quite thinly, in fact incredibly thinly. So to build up the colour on this you're going to have to leave it quite a while to dry. So. I don't know whether it's going to be worth using. <sighs> we will see, we will see. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. It gives you an idea of how I'm painting these force grown drones. Um, let's bring him back in so you can see. Where are you? That's not you, it's you. So as I said, that's the one, that's how we really ten, generally going to finish off with, that's the kind of minute, that's, that's what you're generally going to look like when it's finished. And um, the only difference is the base is going to be different because I've not finished the base yet, but that's the mini. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, as always, stay safe and take care, God bless and bye for now.